Okay, in this video we're going to look at making a parametric louver system. So for example, I have a standard curtain wall here using a storefront family. And you see I have these louvers. And if I edit this family, I can change the spacing between the louvers if I want to tighten these up. So right now it's set to one foot. I'm going to change that to six inches and click apply and I'm going to load that back into my project and you see that updates to the six inches so to create this louver system we're going to need three families one family is going to be the louver itself and then we're going to load that louver into a line based family to create the array and set up the spacing and then we're going to load that louver system into a curtain wall panel family so that we can use that on any of our curtain wall panels. So let's begin by making our louver. So for this I'm going to use a generic model family. And I'm going to go to my left view. I'm going to draw this louver in elevation. So I want to check my work plane. So I'm going to click on set and I'm going to verify that my work plane is reference plane center left right. And I'm going to start by making an extrusion. And I'll use a rectangle. And I'm going to snap it to the intersection. And I'm going to lock my constraints. And I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Okay, so I'm going to set up a couple parameters here. One for the height of the louver and one for the width. So I'll start with the height. And I'm going to turn this into a permanent dimension. And I'm going to select that dimension. And I'm going to label it by adding a parameter. And this will be our height. And now I'll set up our depth. Okay, and I'll just make sure both of those are working. So I'll set the height to 3 inches. And I'll set the depth to 8 inches. And I'll click OK. Okay, so we have that working. Click the green check mark. So now let's look at this in plan so we can set the overall length. So under floor plans, I'll double click on reference level. And I'm going to make another reference plane that I can set the length of this louver. So I'll type in the shortcut RP. And I'm going to make sure that it's vertical. And if I select that reference plane, I'll get my temporary dimension. I'm going to make that permanent. And I'm going to label that dimension with my third parameter. And this one I'm going to call louver length. And what I need to do is I need to constrain this louver to these reference planes. So I'm going to select that louver and I'm going to get my shape handles and I'm going to lock it to the right. Constrain it by clicking on the lock. And I'm going to pull it away on the left and pull it back to that reference plane so I can get my constraints and lock the left side. So now it's locked to this louver length and let's test that parameter. So I'll change my louver length to five feet, click OK, and that's working. Okay, let's save this family. So we'll save, we'll call this louver. And now we're going to load this louver family 
into a line based family so let's open up a new generic model line based and I'm going to control tab back over to my louver and click on load into project and I'm gonna place it at the intersection of these reference planes hit escape a couple times so what we're going to do now is we're gonna take a parameter that we set which was the louver length and we're gonna make that equal to this parameter that's already in this file so let's browse down in the project browser and under generic models we'll find our louver family and we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna go to type properties and we're gonna take our louver length and we're gonna click on the little associate parameter button and we're gonna associate it to length which is a default parameter in this line based family we'll click OK and click OK and that updates and it sets that louver length for us so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our louver array so let's go ahead and do this from a left elevation and we're going to turn off this reference level because this is going to end up getting in our way so I'm going to select my reference level and I'm going to type HH to hide that and now I need to set up another reference plane so I'm going to use a shortcut RP and this is going to be for the height of our louver system hit escape a few times so let's go ahead and make our array so I'm going to select this louver and I'm going to type the shortcut for array AR and a couple things I want to check in the options bar I want to make sure that group and associate is checked on and I also want to make sure that constraint is checked on so when I do the array it arrays it vertically I'll click anywhere in the canvas and I'm not really worried about the distance between the louvers at this point so I'm just gonna pick any distance and I'll change this to three so now I have my array and I'm gonna make a parameter called system height so from the ribbon in the properties panel I'm gonna click on family types and I'm gonna click on add and we'll call this one system height and I'm going to make this an instance parameter because this needs to change based on the curtain wall panel height so we'll set that to instance and we'll click OK and while we're here we'll make a spacing parameter so we'll click on add and this will set our louver spacing and this will also be an instance parameter and the third parameter that we're going to set is going to be the number of louvers so we'll click on add and we'll set this to number and this is going to be an instance parameter and the type of parameter for this one is going to be integer because it's going to have to calculate the number of louvers for the array so we'll set this to integer and I can group that I'm just going to group that under data just to keep it organized and I'll click OK and click OK so we made a couple of parameters that we didn't assign any values to so let's start with the system height so the distance between these two reference planes is going to be my system height so I can dimension those I'll use the shortcut DI 
and I'll dimension between those two reference planes. Hit escape a couple times. I'm going to select this dimension and I'll label it with my system height parameter. And I can go into my family types and I can set my spacing to be six inches. And I'll click OK. And let's set our second parameter which is our number, the number of louvers. So we're going to say that the number of louvers is going to be equal to the system height divided by the spacing. And both of these can vary. So I'm going to type in system height. And it has to match exactly the name of that parameter. So system height divided by the spacing. and I'll click OK. Okay, so there's two things that we have to do in this family. One is constrain the louver array to this top reference plane. So we can we can use the shortcut AL for align and I'm gonna select this reference plane to align to and then the top of my louver and I'm gonna lock that hit escape a couple times. I'm going to check this out. So if I go to my family types and I change my system height, say I change it to 6 foot 6 inches, and I click OK, that louver array is, is constrained. The second thing that I need to do is assign my number of louvers parameter to this array. So I'll select the array and I'll get my numbers which are set to 3 right now and I'll select that bar, this array bar and I need to uncheck append to end very important and under label I'll assign my number parameter see it's going to be right now is equal to 13 so I should get a total of 13 louvers once I assign this Okay, so that's working properly. I'm going to save this family. And we'll call this Louver System. And we're going to load this Louver System into a curtain panel family. So we'll go to the big R, go to new family, and we're going to open up a curtain wall panel family. And let's go ahead and save this. And we'll call this one louver panel. And we can control tab over to our louver system watching the top of the screen so you know when you find your louver system and we'll click on load into project and we're going to choose louver panel and our cursor is showing the no go the circle with the line through it so I need to click on from the ribbon place on work plane and this is a line base, so I can draw it from left to right. And I'm going to want to lock my constraint. So right now, this is a left constraint because you see the padlock with a little line off of it to this left reference plane. So I'll click that. And then it's associating this louver edge. I can constrain it to this reference plane. I can lock that. Now, I haven't locked my right side. So basically, we have to lock this louver, louver system that we loaded in left, right, and then we're going to do it from top and bottom. So, 
if I hit escape a couple times and I use my shortcut AL for my align I'm going to select this right reference plane and then I'll select the right side of the louver and I'm going to lock it hit escape a few times so now I'm going to take a look at this in an elevation so I can go to my left elevation and I want to be able to lock it or constrain it to the top so I'm going to select it I get my shape handles you see it's already locked to the bottom so I'll lock it to the top by clicking on the shape handle and dragging it up see the louver system updated to the height there and I can lock it so now we have this louver panel we can save it we just do a control S to save it okay so now we have this curtain wall panel this louver panel as we called it so now let's open up a new project file and I'm gonna go right to a 3D view and I'm gonna draw a wall and I'm gonna set that wall type to be a curtain wall and I'll use the curtain wall family storefront and I'll just go ahead and draw it 10 feet long Okay, hit escape a couple times so if I select any one of these panels and I unpin it okay so I haven't loaded in this louver panel yet so I need to control tab back to my louver panel click on load into project and I'm going to load it into this new project go to my 3D view reselect that panel and now from the properties tab I'll have my louver panel that I can assign to that panel and there it is so let's verify that this works also on a shorter panel so I'll select the shorter panel unpin it and assign my louver panel family to it so it recalculates the number it needs less louvers to fill that panel height so it keeps that spacing so that's it for the louver panel